no cuts to education, no cuts to health, no change to pensions, no change to the GST and no cuts to the ABC or SBS. On the eve of last year's federal election, Tony Abbott made it quite clear what the coalition wouldn't chop and change if they were voted into government. By the time Tuesday's budget came around, most of those promises seemed like a distant memory. No cuts to education, no cuts to health. No change to pensions. No cuts to the ABC or SBS. Basic, no new taxes, no tax increases, no cuts over and above what had already been announced, no cuts to health, no cuts to education. There's $80 billion worth of cuts to health and education. $80 billion <coughs> over 10 years of cuts to schools and hospitals. You don't get a clearer breach of an election commitment than that. In the lead-up to September's election, Tony Abbott was asked whether a bigger-than-expected deficit may force the coalition to backtrack. The condition of the budget will not be an excuse for breaking promises. Um, exactly right. We will, make, we will keep the commitments that we make. Is it liberating for a politician to decide election promises don't matter? Well, I, I don't accept that question. The biggest, the most significant promise we made was to fix the budget and strengthen the Australian economy. By Wednesday, the Prime Minister had his own way of looking at it. It's mm. a significant trust issue mm. um, for you to have promised and then to have reneged on some of those promises. You know how important trust is. Uh, of course, of course, Carl. And the, the great bond of trust that should exist between the public uh, and their leaders uh, is over, can you trust your leaders mm. to make the right and necessary decisions for the country. How can they trust you moving forward now, though? Well, um, uh, it's in their hands. Um, I think I've been very upfront with people in this budget. We could not go on uh, paying the mortgage on the credit card. Mm. We just couldn't. Uh, what do you want? Do you want a government that tells you, yes, tough things are necessary, or do you want a government that wants to live in a fool's paradise forever?